Hey everyone, my name is Larry Snow. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at a Chrome extension that will improve your communications between your team and your clients. It's called Viewdit. So let's get started. So Viewdit was created by a company called Vidyard and it is free and it's super easy to install just like a regular Chrome extension. The reason why I am suggesting it as in a communication tool to improve your communication is because it is video. It records your screen or captures your camera or both and you send off a link right in your email. So there's no longer this guesswork about you know their interpretation of things or it's easier to communicate by sight than it is to read it in an email. And if you're like me and you got clients and customers that are wanting to change X, Y, and Z, and then the email thread just gets longer and longer and longer, going back and forth, back and forth, reiterations and all that stuff, it's easier just to communicate with a simple video. So that's why I'm recommending Viewed It. So let's get started to show you how exactly it works. So to start off with, as all Chrome extensions, we go over to the Chrome Web Store. You search for Viewed It and you install it. Just click the blue button that says Add to Chrome and it will show up on your Chrome browser over in the extensions bar and it'll be a little bug guy, a little green bug guy. I kind of like that. Can't miss it. And to record something, so let's just do a little demo. Let's go to uh, my website and let's just go to services for instance. And let's do a simple recording. So you open up your little bug guy and it will give you some options here. Uh, it'll uh, give me an option to just do the tab which will negate the menu bar uh, on the top which is kind of nice. Uh, the full screen uh, or cam only and when you go to screen, you can do mic and cam, so that's nice. I'm gonna to switch to the FaceTime camera because I'm currently recording on the uh, C922. So I'll switch over to that. And then we're gonna click record. And it's gonna say show the entire screen. We'll say yes. And it'll have a nice little countdown that you're probably familiar with. And here I am down in the bottom right hand corner. Sorry, bottom left hand corner, here I am. And I can talk about what we're gonna be doing, what we're gonna be changing, uh, this needs to be added, or you know, you could highlight something because all of this is being recorded. Um, so you could say to your client, we're gonna change this to this color or to your customers. Uh, we're gonna be adding this to your website, that type of thing. And then when you're done, you click the little bug guy again to turn it off. And it's done. And a, uh, a new browser window will show up. It will show a. It will show your video. And right here, you can add it right to Gmail, where you can copy the link, or you can share it to Facebook, in, uh, LinkedIn, or Twitter. And how easy is that, right? So you can review it here. You can change the title if you want. Change it to whatever you want it to be. And when you go over to your email, so down here in the very bottom of your email is the little bug guy. And you click that link and it will pop in the latest recorded video. How easy is that? Now, this is just an image, but here's the link. Check out this video and it will auto play. And then you just send that off and then that person will get the email and click the link and it will open up in the browser. So that's why I love Viewed It. Now, that was super simple, right? So it records the screen, it records the camera, everything's great. The other thing that I discovered is you can get uh, stats. So if I mouse over the little bug guy, I can see when the customer or client has viewed it, right? So that's the feed, and then it has the video section. So it shows all of my recorded videos which is really cool. But then I discovered that if I were to log in to Vidyard, I get to see stats, more inclusive stats. And so I just happened to click on login and it recognized my Gmail uh, email and said, reset your password. I said, okay, I'll reset the password. So I got a new password 
logged in with my email address, and boom, here I am, right into my account. So if I click around and I see player insights, I can see uh, click-through rate, uh, I can see how many views, unique views, minutes watched, uh, the region. Uh, if I go into uh, contacts, so that's the person who actually played the video. I can see where in the United States that they played it. And then if I go over to reports, I can export. I can export individual viewers. I can go into all reports and then I can go back to content. I go to players and then I see uh, where we started. So uh, here's the latest video we just created. We can create a splash screen. So I can upload a new thumbnail. That's what they call a splash screen. So that's the first thing that I see is not what they decided it is. Sort of like what you can do with YouTube. You can upload a thumbnail. So you can do the same thing here. So lots of good stuff that you get for free through the Vidyard website. So I highly recommend checking out Viewdit on Vidyard.com. Install it from the Chrome store and as an extension. All free. How fantastic is that? Thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. That really helps me understand if this is something that you enjoyed. Or better yet, put a comment below if you're interested in, in seeing more videos like this in the future. For more information about me, go to larrysnow.me, and I'll see you in the next video.